Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardo. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac. Ooh, ooh. I said cognac. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm your bubbly blonde, fabulously dressed. Center, and I'm here with this. I don't know if she's a scream queen or just a fabulous horror actress, Ms. Lindsay Low. Yes, not Lohan. No, <laughs> I know, I know it's not Lindsay Lohan. <laughs> Lindsay Low, you are a fabulous actress, model, and you're very famous in the horror genre. Yes, um, actually, I'm, uh, I'm really famous for different things, actually. I'm Rob Ortel's new uh, model, Zombitch, and... Uh, Zombitch, yeah, I love it! it. Baby. Zombitch, oh right? My right oh, my God! Oh, my God! So, yes. yeah, what made you so fascinated with this horror genre that you wanted to have a career in show business? What was it about the horror genre, you know, that so I, this is it, I want to be... I want to be a famous actress in the horror genre. What did it for you? Well, I think that, you know, um, I'm really into cartoons, so I was like, you know, the cartoon monsters, and it kind of like, kind of like the horror genre is sort of like a cartoon character in a way. It's always like different characters, like killing each other, just like Wile E. Coyote running after the Roadrunner. And, um, you know, I, I just think that, you know, I have the look, I have the whole, the whole shebang, baby, you know? The whole shebang! <laughs> I love it! The whole shebang! <laughs> You do have the whole shebang. I must tell you, and you're nice and tall too. What's your? How, well, how tall are you, Dolly? I am five eight. Wow, <laughs> you are tall. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, there you go, tall <laughs> Did you ever think of being a fashion model? Um, I would love that actually. I'm actually a fashion model for Rob Ortel, so okay. um, he's doing the whole new. Um, 
what is it called, the ghoulish type of fashion for uh, Zombitch for his uh, new line at robortelstudios.com. So fabulous. I, I love it. I love it. And your outfit is so glamtacious, girl. Yeah, well, it's a little disco. bit. Yeah, it's disco. a little. Yeah, it's a little mm -hmm. bit of disco. I'm a disco it. girl from way back in the '80s. You know, I'm. You I'm. Good, girl. Thank you, darling. <laughs> thank you very much. Thanks. But I want to know a little bit more about your career now. Are you? This film festival, are you going to be seen in any of the films that we're here today at the fe festival? Are you promoting anything specific? Well, I am promoting actually um, horrormedia.net um, and also White Hot Media. It's a new radio show. It's a horror show that I just got a job for. So I'm actually on there now. And now um, is this on the web? Or is yeah, that's on the web. That's uh, whitehotmedia.com. Whitehotmedia.com. Mm -hmm. I'll have to remember that. Yeah, and also too, I have upcoming events coming up. Um, I'm going to be in some upcoming movies, which I can't talk about right now because we're going over like contracts and you know all that kind of stuff. Yes, I understand. <laughs> what about uh, television? Anything for TV? Um, I'm working on it. I have a couple of slots right now, but um, I'm mostly doing a lot of networking and of course that's macabre there it's a lot of networking a lot of you know getting to know what people want and what you can give to them and also too from like being you know a, a nightclub host and an entertainer for years it's like it's like a teaching ground to become that you know that model or that actress in a way so I have to give shout outs to the nightlife of New York City and Long Island and you have to give them what they want darling <laughs> give them what they want that's it yeah you have to be like in my day we they used to call it a triple threat oh honey I am a triple threat right here I see <laughs> I see I want you to tell my audience where they can find your loveliness on the internet. Oh my, um, you can actually find me at uh, Lindsay Lowe, L-I-N-D-S-A-Y-L-O-W-E-N-Y-C at Facebook. And you can definitely be a fan of mine on Facebook. You can ask me questions. I always answer back. Um, I'm not like the regular diva people, <laughs> you know, like I want to actually give back to people and tell them how I got started and also what they can do to better their career. You're terrific. You're terrific. Thank, Thank you so much, Thank oh. you. You are fabulous. And we'll be back in a moment, darling. So more interviews, more celebrities right here at the Macabre Film Festival in Rockville Center. Pick champagne kisses. <laughs> Festival, and I'm here with this fabulous young woman who is involved in entertainment and film. She's a lawyer. She's a producer. She's also, I believe, an actress too. Am I right about that? Yes. You are. You're just about everything, and she's absolutely gorgeous with this beautiful red hair, very photogenic. Introduce yourself to the camera. Well, my name is Monica Trombley, and I actually am a renaissance woman. I do acting, writing, singing. I'm a partner in an up-and-coming indie film production company called One Way or Another Productions. And I also have my own humorous rant blog called The Angry Redheaded Lawyer. The Angry Redheaded Lawyer, I love it. So tell me, darling, what do you think about this film festival, the second annual Macabre Film Festival? It's pretty neat, don't you think? Oh, it certainly is. I think I may end up becoming Freddy's victim before the night is done. That's hilarious. Now tell my audience about you're working on something. You're working on a project right now. As a matter of fact, we are. We're actually in production on our first feature film to feature name actors called The Butterfly Chasers. And we have two no-name, no-budget features that we released a few years back called Cookies and Cream and Uptown. You can find those pretty much anywhere online. I did hear about that movie, Cookies and Cream. 
So now you're on to bigger ventures with this new production. Could you tell my audience a little bit about the synopsis? Sure, The Butterfly Chasers is about a series of people who end up entangled in relationships. We basically have one person who's married to this woman, but this woman is secretly having an affair with this other man. This man is interested in another woman, and she's interested in a different guy, and basically it's a romantic situation, romantic comedy. In the end, everything does work out, though. I like the name, The Butterfly Chasers. How did you come up with that name? Well, actually, that would be attributed to the CEO of our company, Princeton Holt. It's actually been a project that he wanted to have for a very long time. In fact, I heard about it when I first came to the company in 2007, but finally we got the financing and we got everything set to start rolling on that. Wonderful, wonderful. Now, when can we expect this film? Uh, when can we see this film? Is, it, uh, is there a trailer yet on it, or is it online? Or, I mean, can we find any information about this film? Well, we certainly have a trailer for it. You can go to the One Way or Another Productions IMDb page, or you can look up the Butterfly Chasers on IMDb. We do have a trailer. We have more information about what's going on. And we also have our own blog called the One Way Community, where you can go find out the latest news on One Way. Fascinating. You are fascinating. And I want to thank you very much for telling my audience all this information. I know they're going to look at the trail, they're going to go to the website, and they're going to find out more information about you and your production company. One more time, the website. That would be www.one, the number one, way, W-A-Y dot net. I want to thank you so much, darling. Thank you. And we'll be back in a moment with more celebrity interviews right here at the Macabre Film Festival in Rockville Center. Pink champagne kisses. Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. dressed to impress one of a kind girl. This has been a crybaby productions, darlings.